just have one of those days where you don't feel like working? That's me today, but oh well. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to today's episode. Uh, Lisa's out here on the lot with me today. I'm gonna try and get some energy and get going. Uh, we're going to try and uh, get some of these big logs moved today and uh, just do some cleanup work and maybe some winter prep work on the docks. So uh, as I always say, stick around and let's see what we get into. All right, guys. So I guess we're gonna get at it here and this is where we're uh, focusing today is uh, trying to get some of this cleaned up again. Uh, it seems like that's just kind of the vicious cycle you always get into is just as you get everything cleaned up and burnt and kind of organized you move on to the next section and you make another disaster but since these trees came down the other day when the arborists cut them down uh, we've got some of the stuff I've got it logged up and brushed up quite a bit except for this big oak over here um, and today that is my focus. Lisa's uh, as always going to start the fire and get going with that and I am going to start working on getting that big oak cut up into sections and uh, put the Kubota to a test and see how much uh, weight it's actually going to be able to move for me. So uh, we'll get to work. <laughs> So, we're going to do another uh, another cut down here, which will give us a fairly good size straight log, a piece of this white oak. Uh, I've got a couple logs underneath it, hopefully just to shore it up a bit, and we'll just have to take our time and uh, see how it starts to move. Again, just for some safety to keep the bar from getting pinched, I'm going to drive a wedge in there. We've got one big, nice log section. All right, guys, just to do a rough calculation. Again, I'm no expert. I just looked this up online to get a kind of a, a rough estimate of the weight of this section of the log. It is roughly, I would imagine, let's say six, seven, eight, about nine feet, probably long. I could have cut it maybe a little longer, I guess, but. Uh, I was just trying to cut it where it made the most sense. We're uh, about a nine foot section of uh, white oak. We believe white oak at least. We're, again, I'm no arborist, but if you look up online, we're roughly about 20 inches in diameter, 20 inch section, one foot section of white oak. Um, they say is roughly 165 pounds. Uh, so, I, uh, I'm no, math wizard here but 165 times 9 we're at 1485 pounds that's heavy 
probably too heavy for the B2601, uh, but we're gonna find out. All right, guys, we've got, I think, one, two, three, four, five big pieces of that oak move that I was surprised the tractor was able to move. It uh, did actually a really good job. Two of them were so large. You'll see in some of the footage, I had to kind of just roll them into places and stuff. Uh, the one thing you have to keep in mind as you're trying to do those, and, and you'll see it probably in the video. I haven't even looked at the footage, obviously, yet, but to be very careful about the torsion you're putting on those loader arms because you don't want to, uh, to bend anything or, or throw anything out of alignment. So that is very important to keep in mind when you're lifting something especially so big. Okay guys, uh, just taking a little bit of a break here by the fire. Lisa's got a real rock and fire going again as normal. I do not need the insulated yeah. pants. I would just like to say I, that was where I was headed with this next thing is that, uh, come here. This is a shout out to Ryan. This is, this is a little better, Hi, right? Um, not so cringy, right? Not, well, it, well, this is still <laughs> wicked cringy. But it, at least uh, they're not the same color. I, Lisa went and bought herself some new coveralls yesterday so that we wouldn't match. So uh, that's a good thing. Anyways, we're just going to pivot now. We're going to kind of basically call it a day on clearing more brush. Um, we're going to let this fire burn down. But we're going to take a walk down to the... Uh, the point. Uh, we'll show you around down there. We haven't done that yet. And uh, check out the dock and uh, do a little explanation about that when we get down there. Okay guys, so as I said, I don't want these videos to be all just about Kubotas and chainsaws, although eh, that would be pretty cool too. Anyways, uh, we're going to pivot away from clearing the lot a little bit today right now. We've done a few hours of work out here and we are going to go on a walk through the property now down to our lower portion which we call our the point um, it's probably the most picturesque and beautiful part of our lot and uh, we haven't really shown it on the video yet so we want to go down and check out the dock and when we get down there I'll explain a little bit more about the dock uh, but uh, we're just gonna go through a bit of a walk uh, through the property and uh, kind of show you some of the highlights okay just to give some context there's the building envelope where we've been working and concentrating most of uh, our time and effort on right now. And here is the lake. So as we've probably said in some of the past videos, we own uh, about 5.68 acres and roughly a thousand feet of waterfront on the lake. So our property line is over here somewhere actually if you kind of look you can see there's an orange flag in the tree over there so that's kind of where it starts there's an entire shallow bay area here that uh, is ours and uh, and if you look over there that's the point okay guys uh, future editor Sean here just thought I would jump in quickly 
I shot some footage with Lisa as we were trying to do a bit of a tour of the lot and it didn't make sense. It was so confusing, I, I don't know how you guys would even uh, be able to follow it. So you'll see I'm just kind of overlaying a picture here of the property uh, the uh, with the property lines where the house is actually located. The uh, point, the upper point, which is my favorite spot, the lower point, which is Lisa's favorite spot and where the dock is. So. Um, if you're interested in actually seeing uh, a more detailed uh, tour and walkthrough of the property, uh, please just add it in the comments down below and let us know that that's uh, what you'd like and uh, we'll do a more in-depth dive of the property. All right. Okay, so here we are as we come to the end of the point, which quite honestly, is what sold me on this property. We had looked at a different lot in this uh, development, uh, you know, and we had looked at a lot of other cottages, houses, etc. But this right here and this view is what sold the property to me. look here now this is heading into the bay and that tall pine way over there across the uh, bay area is the large pine right behind the building envelope where the house is so you will be able to basically see the uh, house from this point or vice versa the point from the house Okay, and here we are on what we call the point, the lower portion of the point. And this is Lisa's favorite area of our property. So for the winter, right now, for this first season, you can see we've taken our sea dew ramp and uh, just pulled it up here on shore. Okay, here, we'll get in the shot here. So you can see we've uh, pulled the sea dew ramp up. And then if we pivot over this way, Lise, she's <laughs> never in the follow? shot. Well, wow, it's just, uh, her choreography <laughs> needs some work. Um, you'll see over here in the distance here, our dock. Uh, we've already pulled the ramp up for the winter. And everything's sitting here. So there's the dock. There, uh, you're able to actually leave this floating section in the water. It freezes in the ice. Uh, there are four chains uh, that hold this in place. The one thing we still have to do uh, before long is loosen those chains off. We have to give them each two foot of slack so that when the water rises in the spring and there's some ice movement with the ice flow it doesn't actually take the dock away that's the one thing we haven't accomplished yet uh, I was actually expecting to get down here and there'd be enough ice that maybe I'd be able to get out to it uh, and loosen those chains today but uh, we're a long way off that uh, yeah we <laughs> I think we're still in kayak uh, territory yeah right unfortunately now. the bay is all frozen so to uh, bring the kayak out here means we actually have to bring it out yeah, here which that'll be, uh, that'll be a task I could either possibly have Lisa carry it as I walk, <laughs> or <laughs> I could uh, possibly strap it to the uh, to the roof of the side by side and get it down to the bottom of the ridge at least. So this is the property and the view. Same thing we've got here. And this is why we're here, and this is why we're doing all that hard work because this is where, dun 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 dun, <laughs> Sean and Lisa want to build a home. Anyways, thanks guys for joining us on this episode. Uh, I think we'll end the, uh, the video here. 
Um, as always, if you like the video, please uh, like, hit the, uh, the bell to be notified when we post videos, share them with your friends, and uh, uh, add a comment down below. Tell us what else you'd like to see about the property or what kind of work and equipment you'd like to see, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. All right.